to the elect of Israel shall one. Let's begin this uh, quick exhortation by first giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and to His only begotten Son, whom gospel we are preaching these last days. The root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the root and offspring of King David, the Prince of Peace, Shiloh. His name is Yahweh Shai, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. Now, our king doesn't have leprosy. Our king is no pale skin, eh? He doesn't have blue eyes, he doesn't have blonde hair. No, it's a dark skin, and his name is Yahawashai, and he is coming, and all eyes shall see him. Again, to you, the hopeful elect, I say, Shalom, let's give double honors to you. The head apostles, the elders, the bishop from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Some of these men have been laboring for the past 40 years. Yes. In our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai said, What? Our eyes shall see our teachers. And yes, indeed, the Lord kept his word. And we don't take it lightly because we know that. We all grew up in the plantation Christianity and did nothing for us until the Lord had mercy upon us and took us out of those hallowed houses and put this beautiful song in our mouth and we don't take it for granted. So yes, double honors to the head apostles, the bishops, the elders from Great Millstone. Salutation peace to all the brothers preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai, day in and day out, laboring, ushering in the coming kingdom. Because in order for the elect to be sealed, they have to hear the word. And that's why the Lord put this in our mouth to preach. That's right. We have to give diligence. Because the Lord, our power, our king himself, and set the example for us. He was the best shepherd. He was daily at the synagogue teaching yes when he came in when he came here when he won when he walked among us eh? he didn't take a day off he was diligent eh? that's how much he loved us and then after everything that he did he still went on the cross eh? and made intercession for us to be back with our power Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai family we didn't know all that but like the book says in the book, the book of Baruch chapter 2, verse 10, he says, In the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now. Prophecies are jumping off the pages. The prophecies are being fulfilled day in and day out. The fact that we are awake, yes, we were dead, spiritually dead as people. But now... Oh, we are free as a bird. Because Yahweh Shai said, You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And who is the truth? The truth is Yahweh Shai, our king. That's the gospel that we are preaching in this last day. Family, again, this is just going to be a quick exhortation. Yes, you know, nothing really planned. But we're going to open it up with the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter... Let's go Philippians chapter 4. And we're going to pick it up from verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Yes. And this is a powerful word, rejoice. Because that's what we are doing right now. All we are waiting for right now is the Lord cracking up, uh, 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 cracking those skies. Yes. And it's going to come from the east and it's going to come to the west. That's right. He's going to visit Esau Eden. Eh? That's how he's coming. 
thousands and thousands of angels. Mm? Yes. And that's what we are looking forward to. To establish the righteous kingdom on this planet here. Mm? He says, therefore, my brethren. Eh? Let's go back. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. He said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. You hear that? Yahweh Shai is what? It's at hand. Mm? Yahweh Shai is at hand. Again, I keep mentioning in my lessons through the Spirit. That's right. It's not my lessons. Yahweh Shai's lessons. Yes. Because we do not take any credit for this. This is the way, the work of the Lord. We are just a mouthpiece. Eh? Again, I said, we haven't come this far to drop the baton. Think about it. Yes. You can see the finish line. Eh? That is why it says here. Hmm? Let your moderation be known. Philippians chapter 4 verse 5. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Hmm? The Lord is at hand. It says here, be careful for nothing. Are you listening to this, beloved? It says, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto the Most High. And the peace of the Most High, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds true the anointed Yahweh Shai, the Hamashiach, hmm? our king. It says, finally, brethren, verse 8, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, it says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, hmm? you know that this gospel family is 100% pure. Family, nothing is added. Family is not mixed with anything. Yes. This is the gospel of Yahweh Shai family. Eh? This makes sense. Yes. And this is for the elect. Again, it's not for everybody. Eh? Again, this beautiful song that we are singing in this last day is not for everybody. Not everybody is going to dance to this beautiful song. Only the sheep. That's right. They're going to hear the shepherd's voice and they're going to follow their shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. It says, my shepherd know my voice. So the only people that are going to take heed to this gospel are the elect. That simple. Yes. It says here, finally, brethren, he calls you brethren. Yes. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. It says those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the power of peace Yahweh Shai shall be with you yes that's why the king continued to tell us that what we have we should hold what hold fast till I come we have enough and eh? we have enough to prepare us for the time that is coming family every day that we wake up is another day closer to the kingdom and as you see society collapse right in front of your eyes, you see the love of many waxing cold, you know how close we are. You know how close we are. Glory is coming. Glory is coming. Let's go to the book of Lamentation. Hmm? Let's go to Lamentation. Lamentation, what did I put it? Lamentation, please bear with me. Let me go to it. I'm gonna start using my Bible more, family. Stay away from this electronic stuff. You know? um, yes, right here. 
Lamentation chapter 3. Just start from verse 22. It says here. It is of the Lord, Yahweh's mercy, that we are not consumed. Yes. You hear that? Because we could have been caught in uh, the BS that is going on in this world here. Eh? Watching everything that is, is happening in front of our eyes. We know that majority of this stuff that is happening, you're not going to find it on mainstream media. Rather, they are, you've been bombarded with stupid entertainment, sports, eh? Doming you down. You have all type of social media platform from TikTok to Instagram to Facebook to all these things here. That doesn't add any value to your life, eh? Meanwhile, family, third world war is at the door. America doesn't know whether they're going to raise the debt ceiling because but if they don't, guess what? They're going to crash the system and introduce the new system which is going to be digital, the CBDC. All these things are happening but because of the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed. We're not going to be caught in it because guess what? We are home now. We are free like a bird family. We've seen things before it actually happens. Yes, because the Lord has blessed us with the eye salve to see it. This is how blessed we are. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 22. It says, it is of the Lord, Yahweh's mercy, that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. It says, they are what? New every morning. It says what? Great is thy faithfulness. Hear that? The Lord is faithful. That's what Yahweh Shai says. You know, the ones that you have given me, nobody can pluck them out of my hands. The Lord knows his elect. The elect were sealed before the foundation of the earth, but they needed to be activated by what? Through this message. Some of them are going to come in the, in the last hour. But our job as the mouthpiece and as the prophets is to get this word out. Because nobody can make themselves elect. No. It is the Lord's pleasure. He's the one that's going to have mercy on who he chooses to have mercy upon. So that's why I say you should not boast. The fact that you are receiving this message. Eh? And then you hope it. Now you have faith. Now you're trusting in the word. Trusting in the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We know that Yahweh Shai is the word. Eh? This is how blessed we are to have this truth. In this last days. Eh? In this last days. Verse 24 it says, The Lord. It says, Let's repeat verse 23. Eh? Lamentation chapter 3, verse 23. It said, They are new every morning. It says, Great is thy faithfulness. It said, The Lord Yahweh is my portion, hmm? says my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord will never ever disappoint you. Mm -mm. Look at our history. Do we have? We are. Are we? We don't have. We don't have big armies. Eh? Look at when Joshua got us across the Jordan River because we know that Moses couldn't make it. We drove Moses not in the wilderness, eh? and then the Lord finally said, "No, Moses, you're not going to see the promised land." But guess what? Joshua delivered us, got us across. Eh? And then during some of the wars that we were involved in, guess what? We didn't have the biggest army, but guess who fought on our behalf? The Lord sends angels to fight on our behalf. Do you see that, family? Only Israel. The Lord sends angels. You see how these nations, everybody have their armies? But for us, no, we don't fight our battles. It is the Lord that fights our battle for us. That's how special we are. That is how special we are and all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, And the beauty, the beauty about this whole thing is that the Lord, Yahweh, is going to make himself known once again. Yes. These nations are about to see something that they've never witnessed before. 
and then when it's all said and done and settled when they wake up in the kingdom with chains around their neck around their foot and they are slaves in the system and in in the kingdom then they're going to say my goodness hmm? indeed there is a power you see how boastful they are right now yes about their ai and this their this invention and that invention the lord is about to put an end to everything that these people are attached to and that's the time that we are entering into their new world order is going to crash in front of their eyes because why the lord is preparing the way for our king Yahawashai, to take over the kingdom that's how blessed we are the father he says in the book of deuteronomy chapter 6 no, chapter 7 verse 6 that we're going to be what above all nations eh? we are going to be above all nations do you know what that means beloved eh? we are going to be above all nations in everything in riches in look in stature eh? man all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Yahushai, He says here, Lamentation chapter 3, eh, verse 26. It says, it is good. Hmm? No, actually, no, verse 25. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 25. It says, the Lord, Yahweh, is good unto them that wait for him. Hmm? To the soul that seeketh him. Hmm? So it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. You hear that? Wait patiently. Hope patiently. Because family, patience simply goes back to our suffering. Knowing what is coming for us, oh, yes, we will suffer. We will wait. You better believe it. And that should be your mindset. Eh? Nothing should destroy. Nothing should you know what to, to not nothing should uh, to cause you to stumble eh? eyes have not seen or ears have not heard what the lord has prepared he says has prepared for those that love him look at all the planets that are out there in the galaxies family you know what is on them we don't know with our spiritual bodies and then our new our mode of transportation which is going to be what the chariot because the lord says in the book of isaiah 4 that at, in every dwelling place there will be what a cloud a chariot every dwelling place that's going to be our mode of transportation do you know what we're going to be able to do with those uh, those uh, machines you know those chariots man oh we thank the lord for the salvation of israel it says here Verse 26, it says, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord Yahweh. It is good for men that he beareth the yoke in his youth. You hear that? Suffer now. Yes. Suffer now. We have the strength right now to suffer. Family, we are so close. We are so close, man. We are so close. We can taste it. We are so close. Eh? We are so close. Like I said, this is not going to be long. Let me go with the book of Baruch chapter 4. Let's go to Baruch. Let me bring my apocrypha here. Baruch. Um, this We're going to jump through it. Baruch chapter 4. We're going to pick it up from... We're going to read verse 2. We're going to verse 2 to probably verse 6. It says here... Turn thee, Baruch chapter 4, starting from verse 2. Baruch can be found in the Apocrypha. Apocrypha is part of the Bible, you know. It says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. We know that Jacob's name was changed to Israel, right? After he wrestled with the angel, hmm? that you better bless me. Hmm? He says, See him. Tend thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light. Therefore, that thou mayest be illuminated. Eh? The light is what? The word. This word here. Eh? That's right. This is what the family. The whole world is in, in, in gross darkness. 
majority of people have no clue what is about to happen. They hear you are, eh? the light is shining brightly upon you. You know what is happening. You know what is coming. Eh? You know what is coming. Eh? Verse 3 says, Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Hmm? Verse 4, it says, O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Listen to that. Things that are pleasing to the Most High are known to us. What does the Lord mean by that? Think about it. Who were the laws and the statutes and the commandments were given to? It wasn't given to all the, 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 uh, the nations. It was only given to Israel. Eh? That's what made us special. That's, what, that's why we became saints. Because the rest of the nation, they haven't received the Lord's judgment yet. The Lord doesn't deal with the rest of the nation. Eh? It's a things that are pleasing to Him. Because how do you please the Lord? Yes, by doing what? The statutes, the commandments, and the laws. Yes, it's not done away with. Yahweh Shai says what? If you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Are we going to keep it perfectly? Absolutely not. But are we going to go out, out, out? Are we going to go out of our our way to commit sin because we have grace? No, we shouldn't do that. But then, what is the point? The sacrifice that the King has made for us, because that grace period is for us to get our house in order. That's right. Our heart, our mind. Eh? Think about that. How many of your family members do you know today will say, listen man, I'll take a bullet for you right now. No. Just just, 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 just using that as a... Who? Who will go on the cross, tell you that, oh, I'm going to die for you? Who? No. But the king, eh? The moment he came out of his mother's womb, this was his destiny. To bring us back to our power, Yahweh. And that's how, that's how precious that blood was. Eh, he was blameless. The king was blameless. Eh? That's why we should never take it lightly. The king was blameless. Eh? And we thank him every day that we wake up. We worship Yahweh Shai. The fact that he's going to be in the kingdom with us. Our eyes will behold his glory. Man, that's, that, that's enough for me. You know, that's enough for me. Just to see the king every day that you wake up in the kingdom, the king is there with you. Man, the king of Israel, Yahweh Shai. He says here, verse 4, Baruch chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Oh Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. He said, ye were sold to the nations. Listen to this. He said, ye were sold to the nations. Slave trade, family. Yes, these nations enjoyed it. Free labor for three, four hundred plus years. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that was, this is the last captivity. We're talking about the Assyrian, the Babylonian, the Grecian, the Roman. Family, we've been, we've been in captivity, man. So many times, eh? We can't even count. But hear what the, what the book says. Baruch chapter, chapter 4 verse 5. It says here. Be, be of good cheer, my people. The Lord said, man, rejoice. Eh? Rejoice. Rejoice. It says, the memorial of Israel. It says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. You hear that? Not for our destruction. Hmm? But because ye moved the most high to wrath, Ye were delivered unto the enemies. Why did ye? Yeah, because you know why? Because we turned our back on the Lord. We started worshipping all these different gods. And the Lord hates that. Now you see our people in plantation Christianity. Allah. I mean, um, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, they are worshipping Allah. Yeah. You know, Catholic. Whatever they are into. Eh? Santa Maria. All type of different religion that our people are, 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 are partaking in. Hmm? This, is, this is what upset the Lord. The Lord said, don't put any other God. He said, don't even mention any other God's name. Don't, eh? But our people are so lost because why? They like to fit in. Wherever the nations are celebrating, we go in there and finally we take it over. 
Eh? Whatever God they are worshipping, we literally go and take it over. Eh? We are worse than the wicked himself. And that's, what, that's why we are in the state that we are in. Because we move the Lord to wrath. Eh? Yes, that's why every day we wake up, we say, Father, forgive us our sins, our previous sins. Because we've been here many, many times over. Reincarnation, family, it does exist. That's right. It says, verse 6, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemy. For ye provoke him that made you by what? Sacrificing unto devils. You hear that? This is one of the major issues when it comes to our people. Look at Haiti right now. Eh? The tribe of Levi. Look at them. Family, that place, man, they have more vo voodoos and all type of idols there than the actual people live on, living on the land. Eh? Our women are into witchcraft and all type of nonsense. But guess what? If they don't repent, they have to be born as newborn babies into the kingdom. The Lord is going to destroy them on this end. That's what is coming. The Lord hates that. Eh? All type of witchcraft, all type of voodoo, whatever they call them, obia, whatever. This is what our people love. But the power, the creator of the heaven and the earth, we turn our back on him. And we are the only nation that he's dealing with. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The Lord says, you, all the nations that he created, he chose you. Gave you the laws, the statutes and commandments. But that wasn't enough for you. No. You threw it in, him, in his face. Eh? And then you decided to go and do your own thing. That's why we are in the state that we are in today. Hmm? It says, verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemy. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, and not to the Mosai, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. You hear that? These are not my words. That's why we are in the state that we are in. That the same power is about to show his mercy. Okay? And that's the good news. That's the good news. That this time we're going to be perfect because Jeremiah 31, 31 is going to kick in. That's the second covenant. Eh? the laws, the statutes, the commandments are going to be in our heart and we will never go off again we're going to be perfected yes, perfection is coming eh? perfection is coming but let's, let's, let's go let's go to the book of uh, Baruch I'm going to jump to 27 I don't want this thing to be long no. 27 I'm going to jump to Baruch 4, let's start from 27 it says here be of good comfort. Can you hear that? He said, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the power. You hear that? Cry unto the power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Cry unto the power. Listen to this. Let's repeat verse 27 again. It said, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the power. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Isn't that what is happening right now? The fact that we are remembering ourselves right now, calling upon the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, that is also prophecy. Okay? You're not getting up every Sunday, going to church, you're not going to uh, Bible study, okay? just for them to brainwash you, continue to the little money that you have, okay? The pastor's appreciation uh, 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 week, sowing seed, doing this and that, eh? building fun and all that stuff. Eh? They've turned this beautiful gospel into a business. Hmm? You know, that's a whole different topic. Let's go. It says, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the power, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Probably I don't need to explain that to you. It said, because it was our mind. Hey, to go off, to seek all these devils, all these uh, idols that we brought into our homes, hey? follow these nations, celebrating their holidays. Hey? He said, now that we have returned, what do we do? He said, seek him more. 
Eh? It says, seek him ten times more. Verse 29. It says, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Do you hear that? So the same power, our power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, who brought all these plagues upon us, is going to turn things around for us again. Eh? Israel is going straight to the top, from the bottom to the top. Eh? It says, for he that have brought these plagues, who is that? Yahweh. Eh? Upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again. Who is our everlasting joy? Obviously, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, Yahweh Shai, whom we are patiently waiting for. That's right. He's bringing us the everlasting what? Everlasting joy. Hmm? Again, with your salvation. It says, verse 30, it says here, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. Eh? Jerusalem were what? People before it became place. Wherever we are, that is Jerusalem. Eh? Jerusalem is always referring to what? The Israelites. Okay? It says here, it says here, Take, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. You hear that? The one that gave us that name, he will comfort us. Who is that? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yokakodash. It says here, hmm? hey? it says here, verse 31, it says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Who are these? It says, that's referring to what? The rest of the nations that took advantage of us, that came into our neighborhood. They know, they knew our diet, but guess what? They brought everything that we we're not supposed to eat. That's what they sold to us. That's right. The Arabs came into our neighborhood, set up businesses. Yes. Eh? The so-called uh, uh, the, the Indians, eh? the Pakistanian, whatever. Eh? They all came into our neighborhood, set up businesses. Yes. The, 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 Mo uh, the Moabite, the Chinese, eh? The Japanese, the Koreans, oh yeah, they all came into our neighborhood, set up businesses. Esau, oh yeah, we work his plantation for hours. Yes. But the Lord is saying here, it says, verse 30, was a miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice are thy fall. Because what? Their judgment is coming. The rest of the nation, their judgment is at the door. And they're going to receive double. Whatever we went through, guess what? They are going to receive double hmm? verse 33 it says here verse 32 sorry it says miserable are the cities which thy children served you listen to this family the cities you name it from assyrian uh captivity to babylonian captivity all these nations family they're all back in the lot oh yeah there's no end of any any people they all back into their lot, and the Lord is about to judge them. Eh? It says, Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is, is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. You hear that? So, these nations, oh yeah, you think, you look at America right now, you look at Chinese, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong. All these places, eh? established places, right? But oh yes, family. Overnight, the Lord is about to. The, the Lord will turn this place upside down. That's what is coming. Hmm? It says, "Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that receive thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation." You hear that? So their desolation is also coming. Hmm? It says here, For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Eh? For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. We know that the Lord, the Hawashah, is bringing a lot of fire. Family, oh yeah, the king is bringing a lot of fire. It says, Long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils, for a great time because america when it's all said and done is going to be what the lake of fire and then when the fire settle down it's going to become a desert and it's going to be inhabited by woeful creatures that's what is coming yes owls you name it 
all these creeping uh, uh, beasts, that's what America is going to turn into. Nobody eh, is going to be living on that land when after Yahweh Shah is done with it. It's just one hour. One hour, family. We keep bringing that up. One hour, he will come and then he will look at his wrist, set up, set, set his clock, like uh, what is it called? Uh, um, there's a Washington in equalizer. Eh? I'm just saying, family. I'm just uh, no, no. I don't know. I don't know how the king is gonna is gonna is gonna destroy America. I'm just you know you gotta have a little laugh, family. You gotta have a little laugh. Laughter is good. Eh? The king is coming to to do damage, eh? and we can't wait. We can't wait. Let's finish off here, family. We're almost done here. It says here, verse uh, verse verse uh, 34. Verse 34. It says here. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devil for great time. O Jerusalem. Listen to this. O Jerusalem. Eh? What a beautiful name, eh? Man, the Lord loves us, eh? The Lord loves us. At one point, we had no clue. We went to Esau's institution. He brainwashed us. Says, oh, your history is in Africa. You guys were slaves. And that was it. And yeah, I am God. Call me. Yeah, I'm God. I am the son of God. Yes, give you white Jesus. Eh? Use uh, the Bible to enslave us. Give us plantation Christianity. Mm? Give us a special Bible called the slave Bible. Remove some most of the verses from it. Yeah, Esau did well. He did very well. But guess what? He didn't know that the end will eventually come. Eh? That's how blessed we are. The Lord woke us up in the land of our captivity to tell us that, listen, this is not your rest. Prepare. You're about to go. You're about to go. We're about to go. We're about to go. We loved. Eh? Now it makes sense. Hebrew, I believe it's Hebrew. Hebrew 13, 14, where it says what? It says what? For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Mm -hmm. Everything makes sense now. In the land where it was said that ye are not my children, it is that place where they will be saying what? You, ye are indeed the children of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hosea 1 10. Just roughly paraphrasing. This is how blessed we are to have this truth in these last days. Last days, family. Last, last, the last days of the last days, family. Eh? If, 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 even if, if that is such, uh, such a word, we are so blessed, family. This thing brings joy to your heart every day. Eh? That we're not going to be left here. The king is coming to turn things around for us. Let's see here. It says, Oh, Jerusalem, verse 36. It says, Oh, Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east. <laughs> And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. We are looking towards the east. Eh? The joy. The Hawashai coming. Eh? Eh? Man. It says here, Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. Eh? The Hawashai is the one that's going to lead us back to Jerusalem. Family. Eh? <clears throat> the land where right now is, is padded among all these different nations. Eh? They're calling themselves the people of the book. The family, we are not here to debate anybody because they are fulfilling prophecy also. Because the Lord says the land has to be parted unto what the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So they are fulfilling prophecy living on that land right now. But the Lord is going to destroy it with fire. That's right. That's what is coming. It says, verse, verse 37 Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One. That's the word. This is what is gathering us. Yahweh Shai's gospel. This is his gospel. That's why he said it specifically when he sent the apostles out. Go not to the way of the Gentiles. Actually, let me bring it. I believe it's uh, Matthew 10, 6. Look, oh, ah, I just read my Bible. Yikes. Oh, good, oh, good. Matthew. Let's go. Matthew 10, 6. It says. That's what happens when you don't use your Bible that, that, that often. Here, Matthew 10. Verse 
verse 6. It says here. Let's pick it up from verse 5. These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Isn't that what we are doing right now? Eh? No other nation have anything to do with this beautiful gospel. Eh? No other nation. The Lord is not dealing with any other nation. Eh? Plantation Christianity is out there telling people, oh, John 3.16. But they don't know the proper understanding of John 3.16. You better look up that word. Eh? That word, when it comes to the word, when it talks about world, it's called cosmo, arrangement. And it's like you having the the the, the uh, having a, what what is it called uh, the world of basketball and the world of baseball, the world of football, you know, or the world of soccer. It's an arrangement. It's talking about a group of a particular people, eh? Israel. That's right. That's an arrangement. Cosmos. Okay. That particular that, yeah that can be very that that's that we gotta be very very careful, you know. As if we take the word and they twist it. Trying to bring everybody into this. No, this is a family affair. Eh? It's a family affair. And then they're going to go and use the Jews and the, uh, the, the Greek. and the, the, There's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. No, they're both Israelite. One just decided to adopt Greek lifestyle. That's it. That's simple. Eh? That's simple. Apostle Paul's writing, in, under, under, in, in order to understand Apostle Paul's writing, you have, you have to know history. Because during that period, yeah, we were Hellenized by the Greek. When Alexander, when Alexander the Great took over, and then, the, and then he, when he died, he, de he parted his kingdom among his fourth general. And that's when Hellenization, those are the Hellenization period, when we became Hellenized, when we lost our ways. Eh? Yes, so yes, yeah, the Greek and the Jew, they're both Israelite. One adopted Greek lifestyle, and one maintained his, uh, his, uh, his Jew, uh, his, uh, his tradition. Eh? One maintained the law, kept the law, the Jews, yeah. They kept the law. Like when Yahweh Shai came, all the twelve apostles that he called, yeah, they were keep. They were yeah, they were they they they, they, they kept the laws, eh? They kept the laws. You see. But anyhow, the love I will leave, I will leave it there. It says here, verse thirty-seven, Baruch chapter four, verse thirty-seven. It says here, Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west. By the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of our power. Yes, beloved, it's beautiful, man. We will leave it there. We will leave it there. We thank the Lord. This is supposed to be just a quick exhortation. Okay? Let's continue to meditate on the good things. The good things, because we're almost out of this place. The Lord is about to glorify us. The kingdom is at hand. And the same power that gave us into the hands of this nation, the same power is about to glorify us. That's why we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. I'll leave it there, beloved. I hope you edify. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you all got something out of it. Anyway, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Kodash.